Hey Jacko, do you want to know how to loop a short clip for one hour, two, five, maybe even ten? I'll show you how. Now let's get digital. So you have two options, the manual one, which is to take the clip, put it onto a timeline, select it, copy it with Ctrl C, go to the end of the clip, hit Ctrl V to paste it, then select both clips, copy them, paste them, then repeat this process as fast as you can. You can also hold ALT or OPTION and the middle mouse wheel to zoom out. So you can select all of the videos faster. So just a bit more, this is not 9 hours because DaVinci Resolve by default starts this at 1 hour. So a few more. So now I have 10 hours of clips. And you can now render this out. Now this is one way how you can do it. It can be fairly fast, it depends on how fast you click. And now I'll show you the second option. Now the second option is in the Fusion page. So in the Media Pool, right click, make a new Fusion composition. I'll change the duration to maybe one hour. I'll put this Fusion clip on the timeline. And go into the Fusion page, open the Media Pool if it's not opened. Grab the clip that you have. This one is 15 seconds long, connect it to the media out, and as you can see, once the clip ends, the media out doesn't display anything. So simply select the clip, open the inspector, and select loop. And this will now loop throughout the whole Fusion composition. Now if you then extend this Fusion composition to maybe 10 hours or something like that, you'll see that the clip disappears, you have to go back into the Fusion page, and set the global in out and set the out to the maximum value. Now depending on how you have DaVinci Resolve set up, you'll most likely want to go to playback, fusion memory cache and turn it off. You can now simply render this out without DaVinci Resolve caching this to the disk. When I did a 10 hour long composition, I forgot to turn off the fusion memory cache and when it got to 2 hours, something like that, the hard drive was missing 500 gigabytes. So if you run out of space when using the fusion composition method, now you know why. And you can simply delete the cache and then disable the fusion memory cache option. And that's it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, Jackals, keep it digital.